talking about settings and other features in Trial Director, it is important that you make note there's a great deal of settings available to you in Trial Director. The reason it's worth mentioning is because everybody has a different way that they want to run their case and they have a different way that they want to present it. So all of your tools and features and options when you're in presentation mode uh, you can have it look a little different or feel a little bit differently and that is definitely a big piece of setting up your case and one not to forget if you go up to view and options you'll see you have a, a kind of a small options window here where just simple settings like open the last case at startup check for product updates automatically show current item when starting presentation mode these are kind of not as important uh, options but definitely worth looking through and media clips you don't have any media clips in this case however you might in yours so just know that those options are available but the ones that I'm more referring to is under view and presentation preferences here you will find a great deal of properties and preferences and if you start with the general tab uh, this one albeit small is just worth noting that there is a couple options here typically you won't mess with those you start with the stage options and this is where if you are going to use a laptop and you wanted to have a secondary monitor where your presentation shows up on so you're going to show it on a projector in court that's where you you could click secondary monitor I personally always do primary monitor regardless so I'm going to leave that and then you do have different themes that you can uh, you can sort of go through and you see in this little window here it'll show you what what those themes are I always use just the classic theme um, scrolling down here hide toolbar show tool tips I always uncheck that and I personally always hide the toolbar uh, that's just my preference and again why it's important that you go through here and sort of uh, make those judgment calls for yourself uh, when you're transitioning from different zones, if you want to move a document from one side of the screen to the other, how fast do you want that to, to move? I'll, I prefer mine fast instead of smooth and gradual. Um, these are some zone placement features and settings. And I'm not going to go through every one of these settings with you. You can just look through it and kind of uh, experiment on your own time, and you'll see that what's important to you and what's not. Uh, if you click Exhibits, Multi-page view allows you to use your mouse wheel to kind of scroll through multi-page documents or if you just have one page on the screen at one time you can page down one page at a time and that's my preference so I'm going to change that. Video transcripts, if you do have um, actual depot videos that you're going to be playing note that you have lots of different options here for how you want them to look. Maybe you just want the transcript only which would not make a huge amount of sense in my opinion however closed caption I always prefer the closed caption method right here and I again change all my settings to fast um, these are somewhat irrelevant unless you're doing synced exhibits I don't think you need to go I, that's a whole nother video in itself is syncing exhibits with your transcript with your depots um, so as I'm continuing down here these are play options. What do you want it to do when you start up a depot video? Do you want it to pause or do you want it to play right away? Same thing when it's done with the video. Do you want it to close all together or just pause? And continuing down here, um, same kind of thing for just a multimedia video instead of a depot video. I do the same thing. Um, transition speed, again, I always change those to fast. And going on to tools, this is where you can make adjustments to your default tool when you when you double click out of something will it go to the classic projection the highlighter whatever your preference is um, I typically will leave it at classic projection tool and as you scroll down none of these are as important to me except this one I prefer uh, the overlap and if you look at the little window you'll see a sample of what it will look like when you do a call out um, I like to do an overlap and I don't like to see any animation or lines. I like to be nice and quick. Hotkeys, you can take it even a step further and create your own hotkeys and shortcut keys. Um, I'm going to leave that for you to mess around with. And smart board, if you have one, you could use this, but most people don't. Uh, so I'm going to click OK. And that's, in a nutshell, 
rolling through the settings, but I think it's very important that you know about them and that you actually go through and take the time to see what the differences are and what your preference is. Because if you're going to be running Trial Director, it's important that you're comfortable and that everything is set up how you want it. Thanks for watching. 